Alright, you see um, right now on the neck, I uh, drew out some guidelines, kind of, just to where I should uh, drill the LEDs in the place. Right now I'm going to just pre-drill some guidelines, or just pre-drill with this small drill bit right here. Um, it's nowhere near the size that I need, but I don't want to, just in case I drill too much. So, Alright, so I just got done pre-drilling the six holes. Uh, they're not the straightest, but now I'm going to go in with a, a bigger bit um, and figure out what size fits these guys. Alright, so I just got done pre-drilling the first hole. And then you see, I think it's a 7 64ths bit, but the LED will go in on this side. So it's more like that, and you see it'll kind of shine through right there. So, um... I'm gonna go through and do these all over. Um, I'm gonna test them all, glue them into place, and then uh, put the wires all through the back. Alright, so I just got done pre-drilling where all the little holes, or all the LEDs are going to go in the holes. Um, I think this step's important because if you just started with a big bit right away, the wood is so soft that you might actually split the wood and damage it more than we already have at this point. Um, so I just pre-drilled these tiny holes and then I'm going to go back in with the bit that fits for the LEDs. So, I mean, I've already drilled up there. Those seem to be all good. So then I'm going to go through and drill out all that, so, yeah. So now I have all the holes drilled out for the LEDs on the neck. I'm up to the 16th fret because that's all I'm going to program to. 13, 14, 15, 16, yep. And then what I want to do now is, since I'm going to turn this into a guitar again, I need to find, I need to have a space to make the frets act as buttons. So I'm going to go and drill six more holes on the actual parts where the frets lay so that's not going to be fun I'm kind of concerned that the neck is going to lose what little stability it has left but I mean it seems I mean the board is already flimsy itself and it seems pretty fine so okay now I want to go in between here and just kind of clean this all up so I have room to put the frets back in when I slice them in six different sections. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Alright, so I went through and I chiseled this out more so that this fret could be placed in there easily. But for the future we are going to make it like a guitar again. And if you look at the link on the site, you'll see that the frets are really divided up into six little pieces. So that's why I have six different holes in between right there because I'm going to chop all the frets up into six tiny pieces and push them into there and I kind of wanted to clean up these frets so these, they were easier to push back in because I'm just going to glue them back into place I'm not really going to set them in like you traditionally would in a guitar so right now the plan is going to be install all the LEDs um, this side of the board. Um, string all those together right now. Then come back and make custom frets, which is going to be a pain. I'm going to go in and glue all the LEDs into place with, uh, with hot glue or a glue gun just because if I ever need to remove it, it's going to be easier to do in the future. Um, I don't want to use something permanent. I just want something to hold them in place while I solder right now. I'm just going to solder one row with you guys, then I'll turn off the camera and just finish the rest, and then we'll do them afterwards. Right. I want it so the long end of the LED is facing towards the body, and then the ground pin is going to be folded over, and they're all going to be connected there. So, I need a little bit to hold it in place.
Alright, here's just a sample of what it should be like when it's all done. Um, I just put a battery, a small little coin cell battery right there. And you see just two LEDs are lit up right there. I'm just trying to test and make sure that they all work before I solder them all together. So, that's what it should be like along the entire neck. Hopefully I have some patterns in there. Um, but the main goal of it is to actually show you, you know, a chord position. Um, kind of, pretty much like the fret light guitars. Just more of a custom thing. So if you wanted like an A chord, it'll show you. A C chord, it'll show you. Um, it'll even light up scales. Uh, and actually the future of it, we want it to mimic. So we'd have two guitars, just like this. And when you hold down a chord of one guitar, it'll display it on the other guitar. So you can teach someone how to play a song and get that one-on-one -on -one that you wouldn't get with like a fret light or something. So.